out in Mayo, the host Thunderbolts met the Eagles from Fairview back and forth early on. Andrea Ford's baseline floater off the mark. She's going to grab her own board over to Faith Litsky, who sends it to Shelby Handrich. The long ball is good, and Fairview leads 11-9. On the other end, Mayo would respond. Jordan Butler from NBA range. You can count it. And the Thunderbolts lead by one. But then the Eagles begin to pull away. Beautiful passing here. Allison Winton the drive. The dish to Ford. She gets in the lane. The dish to DeJarlis. Over to her sister Jenna. The short jumper is going to fall. And Fairview leads 18 to 12. Next possession, Handrich with the rock. She's going to create just enough room to release her shot. Nothing but net, and the Eagles lead by eight. That would be your halftime score, and the Eagles took control from that point on. Behind 13 from Handrich and 10 from four, the Eagles take the District 119 crown 39-21, to and they will play next on Tuesday night. The final championship game comes from Class C, District 90 out in all gray. The Lady Braves from Tawas picked up their third win over the Lady Tigers this season, 65-62. Morgan Kanachewski led the way with 28, and Bell Flory finished close behind with 26. And in the loss, Alcona was led by Kendra Lefebvre and Alyssa Terpster, who had 10. The Braves will be in Joburg on Tuesday night.